Recently, I shared a Pretty Pink Posh video where I mentioned that there was a whole other section of the release that I didn't have time to share in the first video, and that was the St. Patrick's Day section. So for today's video, I'll be sharing all of the supplies that I didn't share in the last video and make a whole bunch of cards, including just fun rainbow cards, St. Patrick's Day cards, and more. First up, let's just take a quick flip through of the new products that I'll be using today. First up is the Lucky Stamps and Dies. It includes some traditional St. Patrick's Day images and designs and some lucky sentiments. Next up, we have the Shamrock Shaker Die. I love shakers and a Shamrock Shaker is so much fun. Then the Stitched Shamrocks, which is like those stitched hearts that were in the Valentine's Day video. This is the Lucky Shadow Die and Hot Foil Plate for some sentiments. And we have the Layered Shamrocks Stencil, which is a two stencil set with different size shamrocks. Then the Lucky Day Shaker Beads. I love the gold that is included with the green and white. The St. Patrick's Day Confetti and the Lucky Charms Confetti. So that's everything that I did not cover in the original Valentine's Day Pretty Pink Posh video. Now let's use those supplies to make some cards. For this first card, I'll be using the stitched shamrock dies. I cut them out of a rainbow of cardstock and I cut the largest shamrock out of green. So green will be the center of the rainbow and then I backed it up yellow and orange and then went forward blue and purple on the right hand side. And they will fit on an A2 horizontal card. Of course, you could do more of the shamrocks and do like a five by seven card. That would be so much fun. I also die cut the Lucky Shadow die. I have the word itself cut out of gold mirror cardstock and the shadow cut out of vellum. And I'm placing a little bit of liquid glue with my Sweet Petunia Precision Press so that I can adhere the gold mirror to the vellum and then add a little bit of glue right behind the gold mirror to adhere it to the card itself. I absolutely adore the way this all looks together. And then I just added a little sub sentiment that said to know you. For the next card, I'll be using the layered shamrock stencil. And to use stencils, I love to use my waffle flower grip mat. I place the grip mat over my glass mat, an A2 piece of white cardstock on the grip mat, the grip mat will hold that in place, and then the six by six stencil on top of that. And the edges, if you press down, will be held in place by that grip mat. I'm using some Catherine Pooler ink here to do a brush on of inking so that it's kind of a light version of this really awesome green. So I want it to be super smooth. I don't want it to be too opaque. I just want it to be a really nice shamrock background. I'll peel off that first stencil, place down the second stencil, and this time I'm using the color grass skirt. And this is a little bit darker, but you can see how I'm not pressing down too heavily there. This is very hard for me, so be proud because I really did mostly a nice light blend of this color. I really think the light blends do great for backgrounds and look at all those happy shamrocks. I think they're absolutely adorable. I love the two-tone of the greens. I'm going to cut out the shamrock shaker die out of that one and I'll place some little bit of tape runner behind it there just all around the opening on the back of that layered shamrock stenciled look. Then I'll place an A2 piece of acetate right on top of that adhesive on the back. Still working on the back, I will place some foam tape all around the opening. I don't want it on the opening, obviously, because then you'll see it from the front. I just want to make a rectangle of foam tape where each end is touching the next end. Then on an A2 piece of white cardstock, which will be my background, I will layer up all three of the shaker goodies that I shared with you. To keep the shaker beads 
not from going everywhere on this cardstock, I just made a little hole in the midst of the confetti and poured those shaker beads right inside. Then I'll peel off all of the tape releases on that foam tape and carefully line up this A2 piece on the A2 piece on the bottom and press down and you've trapped those shaker goodies inside. Next, I have some of the Lucky Stamps once again and I'm creating a rainbow with my Ohuhu markers. Now there's only three openings for this rainbow. So in each opening, I am placing two different colors so I can get the whole rainbow in there. And the Ohuhu markers that I have, have a bullet tip on one end, and that makes it really easy to do fine lines like this. So I'm just curving around the rainbow with now yellow, and then the next one I'll do is green. And the beauty of using an alcohol marker for this is that in between the two colors where they overlap a little bit, you'll get a really nice blend. And the colors will just look like a real rainbow because they've all blended together. Last but not least, I have a really pretty light blue and then a light purple as well. And again, those will blend together. You can even place it right on the stamped line and create that rainbow look. Next, I'll take the dies and cut out the images and the lucky. And then I took the two shamrock shaker dies, placed them inside each other, held them in place with some tape and cut it out. And that created a gold mirror stitched frame that I'll adhere right inside the shaker window, which helps that shape really stand out from that background, which is so much fun, but is a little busy and we don't want that large shamrock to get lost. Here I'll take a little bit of liquid glue and lay down the Lucky, which I die cut out. I also have your sew on a flag. Those flags are from the sentiment strip dies. I use them all the time. For this next card, I stamped all of the little images from the Lucky stamp set with Picket Fence Hybrid Black Ink, which I can use alcohol markers with. For the solid shamrocks, I stamped those in green. And then I just get to have fun coloring in all these shamrocks. There's lots of green here, but I did have fun doing a little bit of blending and shading, leaving a light spot or a bright spot on the center of some of these images. And I did the rainbow the same way I did last time with two colors in each stripe. For this pot of gold, I have a deco color marker, which is like a paint pen. And I'm just dabbing in that gold inside the black lines. I don't want to color the outlines of the stamped image because then it won't look like gold pieces. It'll just look like amount, I guess. And then I have a silver Pentel pen that is perfect for the horseshoe. And I did a little bit more of that blending and keeping that center area bright with the Ohuhu markers for the pot of gold. Now I'll use my white gel pen to add little gel pen details to all of these images. I think that always adds a little special touch, whether it's just a few lines or it's just a few dots. It really does add a little something special to stamped and colored images. Next, I'll take all the dies and hold them in place with some Spellbinders tape and cut them all out. This way I can create my card with lots of popped up images. I also have It's Your Lucky Day. Again, the cinnamon strip dies also have scallops in there. So I'd cut it out with a scallop and I'll place some tiny foam squares on the back and pop that up in the center of the card. And then the rest of the card is going to be similar to a grid. So it'll be four corners and then that middle broken up by the sentiment. So I have that pot of gold and the rainbow on the bottom, the little leprechaun hat and shamrocks on the top, and then the other little images around that. I also had these rainbow hearts that for some reason I didn't end up using in the Valentine's Day video. So I created some dots around the arc of the rainbow, and then that is of adhesive, and then I added the little rainbow of hearts right on top. If you're not sure what to do with tiny images, sometimes it's fun to just 
put them all on one card and see how they look together. You all know how much I love rainbows, so these products were a favorite of mine, but I'd love to hear if anything caught your eye. Let me know in the comments below. As always, I want to thank you so much for stopping by and spending time with me today. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you again soon. So we're obviously... That again, we've already said it once. I was... <sighs> I was what? <laughs>